come on over here and face this wall for me. Face the wall, okay. You got anything on you I need to know about? No, I didn't. Anything sharp? Any needles or anything? The only thing I have was a pocket knife, so I think I put that in my bag. Okay. What's this in your pocket over here? Seat. Okay. Just sit up front so you don't sit back on your hands. All right. We'll get those cuffs off you as soon as we get the clippers here, all right? Okay. You gonna cut these off you? I might have you bring your hands around the front. You want them recuffed in the front? Yeah. When she takes one off, you take your hand out and you put it on your on your knee, alright? Okay, which, which one? Whichever hand comes up. up first. Okay, whichever one comes up first. Okay. I need you to stand up, sir. Okay. Oh, sorry. Alright. Alright, 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 that hand right here on your chest. Thank you. All right, well, I think we're good. Thanks, Joe. Had an interesting night, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, to really. To say the least. <laughs> Is it John? Mm-hmm. Elliot? Mm-hmm. What's your full name, John? John Wesley. John Wesley. And you're 39? 39. As of this year. And where do you live? Benton. Benton, Kentucky? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? There's no cameras or nothing on there. I'm not supposed to tell. Well, I have, there are cameras in here, and it's because I don't want anybody to say that I beat you up or that. Right. Something happened in here that shouldn't happen. It's for my protection as well as yours. Well, I'm going to tell because I'll be fired anyway. Uh, Pella. What is it? Pella. Pella? 
window company. Windows? Yeah. Okay. So, that's not, I guess it doesn't really hurt to say it anyway because it's, it's a false stat, just like everything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you got, uh, you got some things going on here, but it's not anything that you can't work through. I don't know, girl. I'm, I'm at my lowest point in life right now. And well, before I, we get into I it, okay, I want right. to talk to you, okay? But there's some stuff that I got to take care of first. Okay. As far right. as paperwork and um, getting those things filled out for you. And like I said, I want to talk to you. I want to hear your side of the story because there's two sides yeah. to every story, and, and I want to hear yours. Are you a counselor, too? Or no, I'm, I'm an agent. I'm with the Kentucky Bureau of Investigation. Oh, okay, I, I thought maybe you were. Okay. So you are under arrest. You understand that? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get this paperwork here. And what kind of car did you drive? It's a Chevrolet uh, Cobalt. Chevrolet Cobalt, okay. 2005? Yeah. 2005, okay. yeah. Well, first, I'm going to read you a statement of your rights, okay? Just so that you're clear as to how this works and... Okay, that, I don't understand this stuff, so you have to be kind of slow with me if that's okay. Well, I'm going to read it to you. And okay. then if you have any questions, I'll explain it to you to the best of my ability, okay? okay. Is that right. fair? Yeah. that work for you? Yeah. Okay. Before you ask any questions, you should know your rights. Mm -hmm. You may remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court or in any other proceedings. You have the right to consult an attorney before you make any statement or answer any question, and you may... Have your attorney with you during the questioning. You good so far? Mm -hmm. You may request the court to appoint an attorney for you if you cannot afford to hire one. You may stop the questioning at any time by refusing to answer any further questions or by requesting a consultation with your attorney. Okay. Do you understand what I've read to you? I uh, understand. Okay. What I'm going to need you to do is sign right here. And what it's stating is that I have read you a statement of your rights and that you understand them. Okay. Okay? And if you understand them and don't have any questions, we'll say that that was... Date is 102107, and the time is 1.54 a.m. All right? Okay. Right there where it says signature. All right. here at the bottom, this is called a waiver. Having the above statement of my rights read and explained to me and fully understanding them, hereby waive these rights, and that you would be doing this freely and voluntarily without threat or promise. That's in order for you to talk to me and tell me what's going on. Okay. And how this all occurred and how you got here tonight. Okay. I'm going to have to have you waive your rights in order for that to happen. Otherwise, I can't talk to you. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I think so. Okay. So, if you agree to that, we'll date it and put the time on there, or you can sign it, and then we'll put the time and date on there, however you want to do it. Okay. Stay tight.
1.56 a.m. Not sure that I told you, but my name's Katherine Reed. I'm an agent. One other thing I need to cover with you is a consent to search your vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll fill out this form, and then I'll read it to you, and then you can make decision whether you want to give us consent to do the search. Okay? And you can be present, or you can allow them to go ahead and do the search without your presence. That'll be up to you. Okay? okay. Well, I don't do drugs or nothing like that, so... Well, that's good. That's a plus. <laughs> okay, what, what type of vehicle did you say? It's a, it's a Chevrolet Cobalt. Those nice cars? Yeah, they're not bad. I just, with me working in that factory, it, all that stuff gets on my clothes and it's got it all um, dusty with that stuff in it. That vinyl and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what year it is? Uh, 2005. So you can't, you just can't keep it clean. As soon as you clean it, it's back dusty all over again. Yeah. Mm. What color is it? Blue. As far as like exact tone with manufacturer color, I don't know how they call it, but it's blue. Yeah. Okay. To answer your question. So if I walked out in the parking lot and looked for a 2005 Chevrolet Cobalt Blue, I'd be able. To yeah, it's got the fin. The one with saying. the yeah, the one's got the fin on the back. I don't know if the 2006 had. They took the fin off, but mine's got the little. I don't know what they call those things, spoilers or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can look at this together. It's a consent to search. It's for your vehicle. Uh, it says, I hereby consent to a complete search of the premises, property, or vehicle located at Bowling Green Police Department, and more particularly described as Chevrolet Cobalt 2005 Blue. Now, are you the owner? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll put on here. Is it just in your name? Name yeah, my wife. Help me again. I'm awful with names. John. Yeah, John. 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 Wesley. Mm -hmm. There's just be W on the title thing. John W. Yeah. Elliot. Mm -hmm. A lot of Elliots where I grew up. Where'd you grow up? Grew up in Bell County. You know where that is? Sorry, I don't. Know. <laughs> you don't. You don't know where Bell County is? I thought everybody knew where Bell County was. I know where Pike by looking at a map. Yeah. But I just. But because Pike's at the, like, the very end. Yeah. That's a little point. Well, you know where Virginia and Tennessee and Kentucky meet? They yeah. all cross right there? That's where Bell County is. Small place in the mountains. Pine Mountain State Park. Sounds pretty. It is. It's nice. Maybe you can go there sometime. Got a PGA... Tour golf course. Sorry. You all right? Yep. And you've been through a lot. No, I don't. I don't deserve any remorse. I don't. <laughs> you know what, John? I don't. You're gonna live through this. All right. You know what? We 
we can wait on this paperwork. You I can't find Will you give me consent to search your vehicle? Oh, my horse, I don't have nothing out there anyway. Okay. Well, here, here's the signature line. You can go ahead and sign it. Sorry. No, I'm going to apologize. I just feel my home. Feel what? I don't like it when anybody sees me like this. Well, you know, uh, I've seen people in worse situations. Keep thinking I'd rather be in here for drugs or something. Why's that? You ashamed of yourself? Oh, yeah. That's obvious, but. Thinking about what your wife's gonna say when you get home. Or when she finds out. It's gonna be a hard conversation, but you know what? You can practice telling me the truth. That way, whenever you talk to her, you've already run it by me. I appreciate you taking time. I just now, can you print your name right under there? Yeah. And, right. and your address right below that. Sorry, I don't mean to be this way. Well, you know, sometimes you've been through a lot and you have to have that emotional release to deal with it. I try not to. I just... I didn't try to run or nothing. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I thought that guy was going to shoot me. I swear. What, over at the house? Yeah. Well, like I said, worst things could have happened. You could have gotten <laughs> shot, you know? I keep thinking maybe I should've just got a shot in the head. So John Join my brother. Do you wanna be present whenever they search your vehicle or is it okay if they go ahead and do that? No, they can go ahead. I don't have to be present. Yeah, y'all got my permission to go ahead and search it. Want something to drink? Can I have some water? Just actually I look for some water before we come up here. I got a sprite there. If you think you could handle yeah. that. Or I could have somebody hunt you down a glass of water. If you don't, I don't mind like some tap water. It's <laughs> probably fine. Okay. Oh, thank you. Let me open it. Yeah, don't mind. It's a little hot in here, isn't it? John, it's just me and you in here. I don't, I don't want anybody to see me like this. I don't even like my wife seeing me like this. Well, that's, like I said, we'll have an opportunity to talk about these things and you can deal with it here instead of with her. Because she's going to be angry with you. I'm not. I'm, I'm here to listen. I know. Chat online? No, she don't. You chat a lot? Well, not a, not a whole, whole lot. Not like I used to. I used to chat years ago a lot more, but not a whole, whole lot like I used to. When did you start? Why chatting? Mm -hmm. Gosh. Back when internet first came out, I think. Oh, yeah? Bear chat was the first thing I chatted on. What was it? 
prepare chat. There's like um, a text thing that you you type in and people reply on it. Kind of like a, a group room. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't like an instant message thing. Hmm. Yeah, it's called Parachat. I don't think it exists anymore. Probably not. Things become obsolete so quick on the internet with computers and everything that they're more advanced every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, it's fascinating. So, what brought you here tonight, John? I don't know how to explain it. I wish I'd... Well, you know what? Instead of thinking so hard about it, just tell me. Fantasy, there. Just fantasy. What kind of fantasies? I don't want to be with a young girl. I'm not saying it's right or anything like that. I don't mean to make it sound that way. What What about a young girl? Makes that fantasy for you? I mean, what, help me understand. <sighs> And if it helps you feel better, I'll role play for you and I'm be your <laughs> wife and say, what in the world were you thinking mm. with a 13-year-old? Here mm. I am at home. Where'd you tell her you went? I told her I had to go for a drive. You went for a drive and I get a call from you from the jail. <laughs> because you've been out chasing some 13-year-old. What in the world is wrong with you? I thought you loved me. I thought you appreciated me more than that. Which I'm sure she'll throw a few explicative words <laughs> there for you. Yeah. Won't she? Well, probably. More than likely. <sighs> Are you going to answer? Cause you're not doing very well. Oh, right I'm now. sorry. I just. I don't know. I just I'm giving up. Giving up what? I'm trying. Come on, John. Now I need you to talk to me. I need you to open up. This is gonna sound stupid. I don't want. You this know is what? gonna be on record. It's gonna sound dumb. You worry about sounding stupid all the time, don't you? Well, you know what? I'm not here to judge you. I don't think you're stupid. I think you made a mistake. You had a fantasy. You had an opportunity to fulfill it. And you took a chance. And you're here now. Now's the time to deal with it. Get it off your chest. Well, John, you're losing me. I don't understand what this has to do with a 13-year-old girl. Just, it adds up. It does, I can't explain Say, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I'm hearing you, but I, I'm, I still need to know how you got here tonight. You told me a fantasy. I drove, yeah, I drove here. Yeah. I drove myself. So, you started chatting. What was the screen name you used? Uh, Bald Beaver Hunter. But I wasn't looking for a young girl when I made that name, no. No? No, I promise not that time. I mean, I've had that fantasy, but I wasn't looking for a young girl at that time. So, When she you... showed up in the room, um, 
have sworn it said 18 on her profile, but I can't remember right now, really, offhand. Is that done? What? You trying to tell me now you thought she was 18? No, no, I'm just saying on the profile. No, I can tell by the picture. I don't mean it that way. And she told you she was 13? Yeah. So, you used the name Bob Beaver Hunter. What was the person's name that you were chatting with? The screen name. with a lot of people? Very. Something. Well, let me help you out. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, it's kind of hard for me to think right now. Dreaming of fairies. Dreaming of fairies, that's it. Would that be you? And her? Yeah. Bob Beaver Hunter 42025? Yeah. And then Dreaming of fairies. She said she was 12. Mm -hmm. And you said, cool, 39 male here, bored, laugh out loud. So even if her profile... No, I mean, I'm just saying that on the age thing, I think the only way they can put a thing on y'all, I think you got to say 18, I think. Oh. That's what... Oh, you're saying that the chat room you were in wouldn't allow for them to be in there if they were under 18. That's what, yeah, because I think it's way it's standard on Yahoo now, I think. Okay. So it was Yahoo that you chatted on when in the chat room? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. So tell me about this fantasy. Were you playing it out in your chats? Yeah. Well, yeah. What'd you tell her you wanted to do? Kiss her. And oral... Oral sex. <clears throat> John, I need you to look at me. What? When you talk to me. Oh, sorry. I, 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 it offends me when you don't look at me. I don't like to be offended. Okay. Right. Sorry. Well, I mean, it's do a, you I'm like just, it if I look away whenever I talk to you? Oh, it's just kind of disrespectful, you know? I'm just embarrassed. <laughs> I understand you're embarrassed. Wait, but it's not anything oh, that uh, you can't deal with. It's over. No, really, seriously, it's it's gone now. Well, from what you just told me, it wasn't pleasant to begin with. You know, all you can do is take the card you're dealt and make the best of it, or else change it. And you'll deal with that. I'm certain of it. You'll deal with that. You'll get through it. People have lived through much worse. Oh. I wish you was a counselor. Because <laughs> I know you don't want to hear all this junk. Well, you know, I'd like to hear about these chats. Because with you having this fantasy, I can't help but believe that this isn't the first person you've been in contact with. No, I'm serious. It is. No, I'm being, I'm being serious. I'm serious. <laughs> so where'd you find the child porn? Off of people, off the rooms. In, um, adult rooms. You understand? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. I well, I don't want to rush I make a lot of things. Bouncing around in your head? You know. I just feel like. Hung up or dry, I guess. <laughs> so.
So you knew it was wrong when you came here. You knew it was not a good choice yes, to attempt to have sex with a 12-year-old. Yes. Did you consider that before you left the house? But you came anyway. Because this fantasy just took over. Because I noticed you were a little nervous. I guess just being there, thinking, wow, I'm going to get to live out this fantasy that I had. Yeah. So what was it about it? The fantasy. Tell me about the fantasy. What was it? Being able to have oral sex with a girl. Oral sex? You performing it or both ways? No, me performing. That was my... That was my fantasy. So that was your intention? Yes. When you got there? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And you traveled from Benton to see... Now, what was her name? Didn't she have a name that she gave you? Crystal. Crystal, that's right. Crystal. Crystal, yeah. That sounds about right for somebody who likes fairies. It's a pretty name. So, John, you're telling me that you don't have any other minors that you're talking to online? No, I do not. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You ever been in trouble before? No. No uh, court appearances or anything like that? Well, I, my tags on my back of my car was out back several years ago. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I had to go for. You know what I mean? Registration. Yeah, I I, I can't think of the name of them, yeah. Yeah. My light was out, and they pulled me over for that. And he said, you got an expired uh, tag. And what's this? Your driver's license from uh, Metropolis, Illinois. I said, that's where I used to live. I haven't got them changed over yet. So I had to go appear for that, and the judge told me, he said that... um, if I go get these things taken care of, they'll dismiss it, you know. Which they said that's the usual case on the first time thing, so that's why I did. Okay. Are you ever around any young women or young ladies? No. Uh, any family members? Well, we go to a family, like a gathering, but I mean, I'm not like constantly with them. You know, like around alone, no. Probably a good idea, isn't it? Well, yeah, I was, family was never a, an issue with me. You know what I mean? I, I don't look at family like that. That's good. That's good. So, what else was going to happen tonight? Did you bring anything with you? No. For when you were. Oh, an intercourse. Intercourse. Yeah. No, I didn't do. It. I wasn't going to do the intercourse. Okay. That's what, what my intention. Okay. Um. Now, when you get online and chat, how did you prefer to do it? Like, like, like how? I mean. Well, I, whenever I was reading through your chat, you like to be nude. I take it. Was your wife? Home, or? No, it should be like downstairs or on her computer. We got two computers. Okay. What kind of computer do you have? One I built. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I like, that's cutting out a hobby of mine. Mm-hmm. It's just building systems. Yeah? So I enjoy figuring them out, you know, when you order a motherboard, learning the new stuff on them. And yeah. Putting the new stuff. So what'd you build? Oh, it's a 
K6200 AMD. Mm-hmm. K6. K2000. That's what they call it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the processor's like two, two or three years old now. So, I mean, it's yeah. not even listed anymore. So, uh, what else do you do with your computer? Get online and look for uh, star stuff and space stuff, UFO stuff. Now, you said that you were getting child porn off the chat rooms. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me some of the people that you were getting it from? I can't remember because it's been so long. Some of those have been, like, from a year or so ago. So you just stored them on your computer? Yeah, just save them. When they send them to me. Okay. Where'd you save them? On my computer. Yeah, but, I mean, did you just keep them in an email, or did you... Make a special folder for them. And oh put yeah, them make a whole folder or? for them. Yeah. Okay. So, were you the only one with access to the computer? Mm-hmm. And it was upstairs. Mm-hmm. Okay. So is it password protected or something? I mean, mm-hmm. I'd hate to think your wife would get on there. Yeah, and, yeah, it is. And yeah. finding that child pornography, I'd have a seizure if I found child pornography on my <laughs> computer at home. Mm-hmm. Because I would know that I didn't put it there. Yeah. No, she's got her computer. I've got my computer. Okay, so she has no idea. Mm-mm. Boy, I don't envy you when she gets a hold of you. Yeah, I don't envy me neither. Don't worry, you're not alone in that. <laughs> So, uh, you said she's got a computer. Mm-hmm. Do you have a digital camera mm-hmm. and webcam? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever made any child pornography yourself? No. Okay. So, what you've gotten sent out, received, you've gotten through chats, yes. somebody else has yes, ma'am. given it to you? Yes, ma'am. Well, here's the deal. I'd like to look at your computer. First of all, because of the child pornography. Mm -hmm. Second of all, uh, because of why you're here tonight, coming Mm -hmm. to see a 13-year-old to have sex, and you travel to do it. Um, This is pretty serious, John. I'm not going to kid you. You know... I don't know what the situation is going to be for you, but you'll be lodged in jail tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they'll give you an opportunity to make a phone call. But I'd like to get your consent to go to your home and get your computer and any other uh, computer-related equipment that you may have. Okay. Would you have a problem with that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all on there. Okay. So, I mean, but did you have any special items where you kept pictures, like a flash drive or no, I some, it's all, some other storage media, CDs, DVDs? No, I just all had one computer. Okay. Another sheet out. Now, is that a house? Or duplex or duplex, what? yeah. It's an apartment. What what county is that in? That's Marshall. Marshall County. Yeah. 
You lived there all your life, John? Lived in Calvert City when I grew up. And moved to uh, Metropolis for, I think it's two years. And moved back. That's where I've been since. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I met my wife and lived down in Barbell after Calvert City. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have any uh, special hardware or software that you use that would be um, out of the ordinary? No, man. No. Okay. What do you operate? Windows? Yeah, XP. Windows XP. Now, do you have a, well, you said you built your tower, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So you got a personal computer. Yeah. said you had computer, webcam, digital camera, you have CDs and DVDs? No, I have a DVD burner. Okay, so you have DVDs or you don't? Oh, yeah, I got DVDs, but I don't have DVD pornography or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, I just got movies. I thought you stopped that on the computer. All right, so they're not ones that you've made? Right. From the computer? Exactly. Okay. What about yeah. pornography or child pornography on on a disc or something. No. Uh -uh. What about diskettes? You no, I don't them? use. No, I don't even have that on my computer. So how do you store data other than the computer, or do you? On the uh, CDR. Okay. So you can burn CDs. You can burn CDs. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to be cooperative as best I can. Just bear with me. I'm trying to remember all this stuff. Well, I'm listening. Okay. I don't think I told you that I wouldn't listen. No, I'm just... <laughs> okay. Now here's what this one says. I hereby consent to a complete search of the premises, property, or vehicle located at for all computer equipment, i.e. computer, webcam, digital camera, CDs, etc. I grant this consent to Catherine Reed, known to me to be an agent of the Office of the Attorney General and to such other officers deemed necessary to assist. I know that I have a right to refuse to consent, and I voluntarily give up that right. I know that the agent does not have a search warrant. I have not been threatened or coerced in any way, nor have I, have I been promised any favor or benefit. 
I have read this consent form where it has been read to me and I understand it. The date's 10-21-07. The time is 2.32 a.m. And if you agree to that, you can go ahead and sign in the same place and then print your name and your address right underneath it. Okay. Take any medication or anything? Nerve pills. What kind of nerve pills? Um, F, F Rexor, XR. F Rexor? Yeah, okay, that's it, yeah. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, and I've vitamins, you know, that my C's and stuff like that. I have a daily regimen of, you know, things I take like Multi vitamins and well, stuff. Well, it's kind of like multi vitamins. Whatever she puts in the pill bottle. Like your wife takes care of that stuff for you? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and fill your citation out here. It doesn't mean that you can't keep talking because I'm listening. Okay? So you want to tell me about some of the other people you chat with? But there's some real winners out there. Yeah, isn't yeah it? I know what there is. A lot of bots on there. Huh? A lot of bots. Bots? What's that? That's the where they advertise, throw advertisements at you. Mm hmm. Porn stuff, you know, all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. So what other kind of fantasies you have? Nothing wrong with fantasies, you know. People have dreams and things that they'd like to do in life. Oh, winning money. <laughs> winning money. <laughs> winning money. I think we all have yeah. that one, don't we? I don't know what I'd do with it if I had it. Nah, I know. Don't Me, know I just want to pay my bills. Anything. Got a lot of bills? Yeah. <laughs> Is it Wesley? Yeah. How, spell that. W E S L E Y. Okay. Yeah, my life So, is what do you go by? On, on Yahoo. No. Uh, I mean, do you go by John, or do you go by Wesley, or... Oh, John, yeah. Just John? Yeah. Okay, okay. and... Let's see, I got your address here. Did y'all already call the house? Pardon? Did y'all already call the house? That you know of? I mean, you, you don't know. No, I'm not going to call your house. Okay. I don't have any reason to call your house. Okay. Do I? What do you mean? Well, I mean, why would I call your house? I mean, go on. I'm going to let you call her. Okay. You're going to explain oh. that, not me. Okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't being smart. Sorry. Oh, I didn't think you were being smart. I was just letting you know, though, she's going to be mad, and she's going to take it out on you, not on me. You better get yourself prepared for that.
Now, did you have a driver's license with you? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's a Kentucky my, driver's license? Yes, ma'am. It's in my... Uh, I'll get that in a minute. You want to give me your social? Said Pella Windows. Mm -hmm. I thought you made car parts. Well, in I, your chat. Yeah, I'm not supposed to talk about where I work. It was in a consent form when when we uh, got so, hired in. Oh, okay. So what's your occupation with them? Uh, solar operator. Not anymore, though. That's the reason why they don't want the name given out in case you know, some happens to somebody mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. And that, what, what city is it in? Uh, Murray. full-time resident Kentucky yes and you're married for now mm -hmm. uh, what's your home number An emergency phone? Uh, I can't remember offhand. It was my mom or dad. Yeah. I can't. I can't remember offhand right now. It's on my phone in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, the emergency phones for the jail. If something they need to call somebody or something, they'd have that number. But I mean, you don't have to put one on there if you don't want to. What's your height? Five eight. Wait. I'm I'm guessing. I believe it's one ninety five. Hair color. Blonde, uh, blonde whatever. Yeah. Brown. Uh, I, I guess. Used to be blonde, but I guess it's brown. What do you want me to put on? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm trying not to be difficult, really. I'm not. But uh, Eye um, color blue? Green. Green. your brother. Does he help you a lot? Hmm? That too. Oh. 
Ada. Cancer. Can I tell you something? Sure, I told you. I'm always listening. I'm all ears. It should be me six feet under, not him. I mean that. Buddy, you be alright. No, I mean... He was so much of a better person. You know what? You're a good person. No, I'm not. Why not? I just... Uh, What's eating you up? Something just really got you. just wish I had a good place. I know you're not a counselor, but that's what I want to say, you know? Well, you I know, sometimes say. you got to say it out loud. Let's see. I just hate my life. I really do. Do you go to a counselor? No. You going to start? Oh, yeah. Because I need help. Place for you to start. I bet. You feel better. You talk to me. Uh, you feel better that you talk to me. I'm glad you would hear. Why? You just seem to have a way of talking. Well, you know, some of them back at the office tell me I don't know how to shut up. (laughs) They get sick of me. So I appreciate you (laughs) appreciating me. You know who you make me think of? That actress, uh, I think her name. Just the way you talk make me think of her. Ain't Loretta Lynn, is it? (laughs) No, on that that flight, not flight, I three, uh, or that missing child on that on that plane, and they kept telling that um, you didn't come on board with with a girl, but I mean, she knew she did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't think of her name. What's the movie called? Flight. Not flight. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, also in that movie, uh, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, uh, you know, was Jody Foster. Jody, that's who you remind me of. I like her. I do too. She's one of my favorite actors. Well, I tell you what, this is the worst part of this job, filling out all this paperwork. I gotta go uh, find your license and get some information from your car. Okay. And I'll be right back. You hungry? No, ma'am. There's some chips there and a candy bar. I thank you, but you can understand why I'm not. (laughs) Well, I mean, you know, some people. Some people handle stress differently. Yeah, I'm one of those that don't handle it. No. Let's see. 
<clears throat> we'll get you squared away here in a few minutes and okay. get you transported over to the jail. Okay. Uh, you still got plenty of drink there, or you want me to round you up some water? If, if you can. I mean, I don't want to get too much of a bother. Well, I'd say I could do that for you. <laughs> Thank you. You need Kleenex? Okay. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah, all right? All right. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay.
Hey, partner. Yeah. You come on out here with me. Okay. Come this way right around here. Yeah, hello? Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hello. All righty. Are you, hey. Where hey, are hello. you? Uh, someplace called Dawson Springs. Where? Yeah. Wait, 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 can you, where are you? Uh, someplace called Dawson Springs. Dawson Springs? Yeah. That sure was a long oh. thing. Huh? I said, that sure was a long fee. Uh, I'm sorry. I what? was, like, getting comfy, but, like, then I was like, oh, no, I have to get water, and then I wanted to make some Kool-Aid, and sorry. That's okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, so, wait. Go ahead. Dawson Springs? Do you mean Dawson Spring? Okay, that, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. All right. Well, yay. How far does that make you, do you know? No, I really don't know yet. Okay, I'm so excited. I can't believe you're coming. Uh, no. I'm, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I got huh? to tell you, I am nervous. I'm just nervous as heck. Oh, why are you nervous? I don't know. I just am. I just am. <laughs> I've never done uh-huh. anything like this. I've never done anything like this. Oh, you're so sweet, though. You know, I'm just really excited that you're coming. <laughs> I have never done anything like this. I keep thinking to myself, this is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, though. <laughs> Anyways. Well, are you still excited? Yes, I'm excited, but I'm I'm scared and nervous at the same time. Why? I'm a little scared, too, because I don't know if you'll like me or not. I know. That's what I'm afraid of. I think that's why I'm scared. What? Did everyone like you? Yeah, I mean, you know. No, that's <laughs> not true. I'm never, afraid you won't like me. <laughs> I've never been popular with the girls. Really? That's the reason. But you're so... I, huh? You're the... I don't understand why. That's why I care why you like me. I'm just Aww. flabbergasted. I don't get why people you don't think like you're good with girls. Like you're so sweet. I don't know. Well, I, they never got to know me or anything, so. No, that's uh. their fault. <laughs> but yeah, I am excited. I am excited. Aww. <laughs> but, like, what if you don't like me? Oh, I'm sure I'm going to like you, girl. My goodness. I think... I, but how do I, you know? Because, what, put it this way. Let's say you were 280 pounds, but you uh-huh. still have your, you still talk like you do and mm-hmm. have the personality that you do, I'd still like you. You're so cute. 
That's nice. <laughs> well, I'm excited that you're coming. I really am. And I don't know why you don't you think I like you or anything. Because I wouldn't, if I wasn't comfortable, I wouldn't have, you know, wanted you to come. Right. I'm just surprised that you want me to even do this. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, I'm glad you came like, or are coming. I'm really glad. Great. I am too. I'm, I, you know, I need to get away anyway. Just get out. I don't get out anyway. I just work and that's it. Oh. Um. <laughs> this is nice to be able to just take a, you know, take a road trip. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Well, this one's fun, huh? I like, sometimes I like long car rides and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's nice, well, this is definitely you know. a long car ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you listening to music? What are you doing? I'm oh, just sitting here thinking. Mm, oh, no, go well, listen to some music or something. I just don't have anything going. I'll just wait for your call. I was like, gosh, it's going to take a long time for your call. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I was hoping you were listening to music or something. I was like, man, he's going to, like, wonder where I am. Oh, oh hold on one second. Okay. Hmm.